hello dear students today we'll study conditional sentences actually this uh, audio video lecture i am trying to uh, record with the help of my note 5 pro mobile and i have no idea why why my voice is uh, not enough audible if anybody has suggestion for it please please share your suggestion your help for me definitely for next time or for all these uh, videos which i already have made i'll try to make them again for you all okay thank you so let's start here you know that is chapter 12 of our total english language book these are conditional sentences a condition is something that has to be fulfilled before something else can happen as if the rain stops will play actually we shouldn't speak then or not write then because here comma works like then okay then i have written here only for understanding types of conditional sentences here conditional sentences are usually divided into three basic types and in grammatical terms we can call them like type 1 type 2 and type 3 okay so here we are to understand like how to develop the concept so you are to understand only three things if plus present tense is given then definitely second sentence will be in future tense if plus simple past, past tense is given then definitely second sentence will be would plus verb first form if plus past perfect tense is given then second sentence will be would should might could have plus verb third form if plus not is equal to unless and if is equal to suppose supposing provided should had means if can be replaced with suppose supposing provided should had at different places let's see type one if plus present tense then second sentence will be in simple future tense like if he is well is it is in present tense second sentence he will come here soon type two if plus simple past tense then second sentence will be in would plus bar first form if i knew him if i knew you knew is second form or bar means simple past tense so second sentence is would plus first form i would not help you if i were you were is also second form of is am I. so that is also simple past tense but it is a conditional sentence if i were you i would help him type three if plus past perfect tense then second sentence will be would should could might plus have plus verb third form perfect conditional we can call it if you had been here i would have been i have i would have seen you so had been is past perfect tense and would have been is perfect conditional the same sentence can be written in this style also had you been here had you been here means if you had been here i would have seen you second sen sentence will not change here had is equal to if you had here is the assignment which is given in our total english book so you should complete it there with either black or blue pen make sentences using if by joining each pair of ideas given below type one example it rains rains means present tense tomorrow he stay at home it is given answer is if it rains tomorrow he will stay at home first sentence if clause is in present tense then second sentence is future future tense because the, that is type one first sentence she not come be disappointed that is given and they have been given our condition type 1 so we are to put first sentence or if clause in present tense okay and second uh, sentence or main clause should be in future tense if she does not come we will be disappointed 
it is a holiday tomorrow what we do so if it is a holiday tomorrow what should we do you not careful fall and hurt yourself if you are not careful if you are not careful it is in present tense you will fall and hurt yourself it means you are here this sentence in future indefinite or future tense you not agree i not sell the house if you do not agree i shall not sell the house first sentence is in present indefinite or simple present tense and second in future indefinite he travel by plane get there tomorrow night so if he travels travels means present indefinite by plane he will get will means future tense get there tomorrow night she does not have a passport does not is already present if she doesn't have a passport she will not be able to go there so you have understood now that if clause is given in present tense then main clause will be in future indefinite tense now type 2 you are to study example is given i not like not eat it answer is if i didn't like it i would not eat it in type 2 you should understand that past and of tense is given and in second sentence would plus verb first form that is would conditional sentence i know his address i write to him now that is question if i knew his address that is past and of it or simple past i would write him now would write would conditional he in a funny but buy the car right now it means if he had enough money had it second form of has have second form is past and indefinite or simple past tense he would buy the car right now would buy would plus verb first form that is would conditional i speak to that minister right now he we angry so i would speak to that minister right now if he were not angry but not but is past and indefinite and would speak you see him now now not recognize him if you could see him now you would not recognize him that could she could is also second form or we can say past form of can here now type 3 type 3 we know well by the way before some time i had discussed example the security cancel meeting last night no one blame him answer is if the secretary had cancelled the meeting last night no one would have blamed him it means if clause should be in uh, past perfect tense and other should be in would have plus verb third form like i know his address yesterday i write to him it means if i had known his address yesterday i would have written to him train late yesterday i miss important meeting it means if the train had been late yesterday i would have miss missed important meeting doctor not act pro- promptly at scene of accident why die it means if the doctor had not acted promptly at the scene of the accident the boy would have died thief not sneeze police never know he was hiding the thief if the thief had not sneezed the police had never known he was hiding i not show sure of succeeding not attempt that problem yesterday i would not have been sure of succeeding if i had not attempted that problem yesterday join each pair of sentences into a single sentence using if we are to use if joining pair of sentences example is given the weather may not improve tomorrow in that case no place no plane will take off in that case in that case means if so if the weather does not improve tomorrow no place sorry no plane will take off you refuse to pay the money then you will be imprisoned it means if you refuse to pay the money you will be imprisoned 
perhaps he will agree i shall be delighted then it means if he agrees i shall be delighted then present tense and then second future i would write to miss l now but i don't know his address it means if i know his address i will write to miss l now then they will pay you more next month but you must work harder they will pay you more next month if you work harder you must be careful otherwise you will have an accident otherwise means condition if if you are not careful you will have an accident the leader of the gang may find the house empty in that case in that case it is conditional he, he will whistle to rest of the gang or to join him if the leader of the gang finds the house empty he will whistle to the rest of the gang to join him you could have fixed everything promptly yesterday i would not have had any worries so here we'll use if you had fixed everything properly yesterday okay had plus third form i would not have had any worries would have plus third form he looked around otherwise otherwise is condition he would have been hit by the bus if he hadn't looked around he would have been hit by the bus you can see the island from here but the day must be very clear and bright but it is condition if the day is very clear and bright you can see the island from here the pilot didn't know about the storm over the mountains he certainly would have taken off in that direction if the pilot had known about the storm over the mountains he would certainly have taken off in that direction rewrite these sentences beginning with unless now we are to use unless in place of if and we already know this that if plus not is equal to unless so here the example is if we do not rush if we do not will be removed and unless will be put we shall miss the bus unless be rus we shall miss the bus if the car is not if the car is not if not means unless so unless the car is repaired it will stop work you must ask him if you want his help if you want here we are to replace if by unless but there is no not in this sentence then in second sentence we are to put not here second sentence is given first you must not ask him unless you want his help he would never come to see us if we did not invite him if we did not it means if plus not is given we are to uh remove if plus did plus not if be use be remove did not then invited will be put so he would never come to see us unless be invited him if you do not sign the check the bank will not cash it for you unless you sign the check the bank will not cash it for you other thing if you do not work fast do not if do not means unless unless you work fast you will not finish the job if you do not agree i shall not sign the document unless you agree because if you do not means unless unless you agree i shall not sign the document if nobody if nobody means if not plus anybody so unless anybody wants this i'll throw it away if he does not does not means if he does not unless unless he finds some place to hide the police will arrest him we will arrive at 8 o'clock if nothing goes wrong if nothing means if not anything goes wrong so we'll arrive at 8 o'clock unless anything goes wrong like if you touch fire it will warn you we are to replace if 
with unless but there is no not in if sentence or if clause then be will to be will have to put not in second sentence unless you touch fire it will not burn you okay dears so that's all